Hello okay, guys and welcome back to another video on our helpful tools. Um, this video is going to be, I believe, the last one in the LT Spice, unless one of you guys has a question or a comment on uh, on how uh, on how to do something. But I think we'll close this one with uh, we'll close out the uh, LT Spice videos with this one. Uh, this is one that's actually pretty cool. Um, I've got a circuit put together here that's very simple. We're taking a couple of different voltage levels off of but just a you know resistor divider circuit. So let's see what that looks like. If we run it, um, we can take the voltage here and let's say the voltage there. So the voltage of number one is like 8.7 volts. The voltage V2 is 1.5 volts. You know, and so okay, that's good. Let's say we we need those for some reason. We need some threshold voltages or something. Maybe we're going to run this into a comparator or something. Well. That's all great and good if these resistors are exactly 10K, exactly 4.7, and exactly 1K. Well, now, anyone that's worked with any real parts, uh, you know, any resistors out there and stuff like that, and the math isn't always perfect, so the world isn't perfect. So, you know, resistors always come in percent tolerances, right? You've got your 10%, your 5%, your 1%, your half percents, your, you know, all the way down to like I think 0.01 percent, you know, precision. I think sometimes you can even get them laser trim that are even more precise than that. So, but obviously it comes with a price. So <coughs> you have to pay a, a either a little bit more or a lot more to get a very 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 precise uh, resistor. So if you can live with a uh, five percent tolerance or a you know one percent tolerance or something like that, if you can live with that, your circuit can absorb that. Then and you know you're better off because it'll be it'll be cheaper since those are readily available and very easily made and whatnot. So how do we know if our system can deal with it? Well, most of the time, most most people will take and you'll run the numbers from one extreme to the other. You know, you'll go five percent high and five percent low and see what the extremes come out to be. And if you can survive at those extremes, then you can you should be able to survive anywhere in between so to speak. Well, just in case um, you want to look at this, you can actually have LT Spice um, kind of give you a spread of what the voltages will be at the different tolerances and some places in between. Now, how we're going to do that is you kind of have to do it by hand. I think P Spice and some other spices out there, a multi-sim, uh, uh, a few others, I can't remember, I can't think of all the others right now, there's lots of them. Um, have what's called a Monte Carlo distribution. And in a Monte Carlo, it basically does the worst case, and it has a whole function that you set up and everything to uh, run that type of uh, analysis. Well, for us with LT Spice, you know, uh, it's one of the deals of you know downsides of free stuff is that it doesn't have everything everybody else does, and so it does not come with that. However, that does not mean it cannot still do it. So you just have to do kind of a little bit of a manual thing, kind of a by hand way of doing it, but it will still do it. <coughs> now it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close, and so you can you can still do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to now change it. I'm going to go to my other one. I'm going to go ahead and whoops. I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'm going to bring up my other one. <coughs> okay. So here's my other one with this Monte Carlo stuff put into it, and I'm going to. Uh, describe to you what what all this is. Okay, so what I've got is I've got my my resistor value here. It's the 10k, you know, like it was before. Remember before it was it was a 10k. But now what we're doing is we're gonna multiply this little piece of 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 uh, equation here is what we're gonna do, and that's basically gonna represent our 5% or 2% or whatever or anywhere in between. And what we're doing is we're using a random number generator. The rand function is a function in Spice. So we're using that. And what this plus 500 does and 600 and 100, if you see that, those are different seed values. I don't know if uh, many of you have worked with random number generators, but a computer, there's really only one source of randomness, and that is like a human being. The human mind is only the, s the one actual source of pure randomicity. Um, for a computer to create a random number, it actually has to start somewhere. It actually has to start at a certain number, and then usually they, I don't know, to create random numbers, they'll roll it in, you know, the date, you know, the year, how many days it's been since a certain year, or something like that. You know, some 
some just you know random way of figuring it out. But it has to start somewhere. There has to be a definitive starting point. Like I've seen random number generators that uh, generate a random number based off of the year 1941 or something like that. It's like May of 1941 or something like that. And then they count how many days has it been since then and then they divide that or shape it up to meet the range that you're looking for. And so I've seen that. But see, it has to start somewhere. It, they had to start at a date or they had to start at a certain number um, to be able for a computer to, to chunk something. So that's what we're doing here. We're, we're creating a seed value. And you could choose 500, you choose 100, you could choose 50, you could choose 10, you could choose whatever seed value you want. All it does is it ensures that I will generate a different random number for this one, a different one for this one, and a different one for this one. If you don't put that in there, if you just leave it X everywhere, it will generate the same random number here, here, and here, which means they will all shift by the same tolerance, which means then everything just shifts around the same amount and you, you get the same voltages no matter what because you're shifting the same amount. So you want to see a spread of different tolerances you know you want you don't want this guy you want this guy to be move I don't know a half a percent this guy to move two percent and this guy to move five percent you know go to the extreme if you're using five percent that's what you want you want these all to be independent of each other so that's the way to do it is you make the random number generator create different seed values so they start at different places so that way you get different you different spreads now um, I'm going to explain what what to of what this A is here in a minute because that's a variable. You can come down here. Uh, variables in SPICE are called parameters and you can play with parameters. You can set them, you can clear them, you can do um, a bunch of different things with them. So that's where we are bringing you down to these dot commands down here. The dot step command um, is basically um, basically a sequence. Um, it's going to create a sequence of numbers for parameter X and what we're going to do is we're going to go from 0 to 20 by increments of, of 1. So we're going to go 1, 2, the x will increment by 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 20 is what it's going to do. So that gives me 20 different values of, of, of uh, percentages to multiply into our resistors is what that's going to give us because that's our, our x, see, our x up here in all of our equations, that's our x. So we're going to get 20 different random numbers. Okay. Now, parameter A, what this is, is this is going to be what sets our percentage tolerance. And I have a list. Let me let me grab that real quick. I'm going to pause the video for a second and so I can slide this over. Uh, I have a list of tolerances and what the what these A factors will be for those. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I'm back. I've got I got I went ahead and got these in here real quick. What what I did was I just used the the text command and you can type whatever you want. See? But this is through um through calculation. I, I guess if some you want to explain how I want me to explain how I got these uh, I can but um, it's just it's kind of involved it requires a lot of um, uh, putting it into Excel and you seeing how the numbers move around and and I can show you guys how to do this but uh, I don't think I'm going to do that in this video I want to keep this video a little bit shorter um, anyway but this these are your different tolerances that you can do five percent you make a point one for two percent you make it point two if you run at one percent you make it point two and so on and so forth and that's basically a pretty good list I, honestly I don't think I, anyone's gonna need any other tolerances than this I mean you could use ten percent parts but honestly any more the five percent part really one percent parts are just as cheap as the rest of them so you, you know it's kinda it's kinda whatever you want to do a uh, five percent is a little cheaper but uh, anyway so what what we do what we're going to do is we're going to use this is going to be five percent so we're going to use a equals point one here and then all it's going to do is we'll we'll rerun this um, let's minimize our other one here um, and grab draft one here we go okay and we're going to go ahead and run this so run it here I like I like my scope window on top so now if we pick a voltage we're going to see a spread we're going to see a whole spread of those twenty different deals and you can see that it's going to swing you know with a 5% tolerance of doing 20 different values we're going to get somewhat of a swing from like oh well, almost 9 volts all the way or, you know or all the way to 8.8 .8 and a quarter so it's going to swing 3 quarters of a volt essentially is what we're seeing here this voltage right here could swing roughly a quarter of a volt or 3 quarters of a volt here and there Anyway, that's that's one way to do it, and the same with the with the other voltage. I'll just add another plot plane here and plot the other voltage. 
and see, and then that one's going to swing. Right? Remember before it was right around one and a half. Well, it actually it's, it moves around now because because we have all these tolerances now. We'll stack up and and move it. And so that's basically how you do a quick and dirty uh, wor like worst case or tolerance stack uh, analysis on your on your stuff. You can do this in uh, anything. Um, it's kind of like you know my last video that I showed where you can do the the resistor. You can make it equal to you know some varying uh, node of some sort. And you can use the the plus and minus. You can always type in equations to uh, spice uh, on resistors. You can do this to capacitors, inductors. You can do this to to pretty much all the components. You can type in what you want their values to be, and you can even build an equation out of it and uh, and use a step. Uh, the step equation to, to step through something or set your different parameters at different variables and stuff like that, different different values. You can set up variables in there and then have a whole bunch of these dot param deals. If you had multiple variables in here, you'd have dot, uh, like four or five dot params that, that set those variables and you can tweak them and play with them. So always remember that SPICE, uh, at least LT SPICE and Multisim and uh, P SPICE and all the SPICE deals are all based off of one engine, that's the Berkeley Spice engine. So as long as you can talk to the engine, and they all talk to the engine the same way, because it's the same thing. Um, so in LT Spice, they give you the flexibility of these dot commands, where you can you can specifically send stuff straight to the engine. So you can you can do everything that the big fancy ones can do. Now maybe you have to you have to do a little bit more by hand, such as this, but you can get it to work. And so. Guys, I think this has been a great, uh, great set of lessons here for the the LT Spice stuff. Um, we're going to be looking next at a logic uh, type uh, simulation device that will do logic stuff, like you can do like all 7400 logic, do muxes, demuxes, uh, encoders, decoders, the AND gates, NOT gates, NOR gates, XOR gates. All that stuff, all logic gates, all that stuff. This software uh, does a bunch of it, and you can simulate kind of like LT Spice, but it's geared uh, specifically for uh, logic. And so we'll be looking at that next time. That'll be my next videos, and we'll start another series on those. On that, um, that one will probably be a little shorter because it's not as involved as uh, Spice is. But hopefully, you guys have enjoyed Spice uh, or these short little tutorials on Spice. If you guys have any questions or anything, any comments, whatever you want to do. Um, Feel free to shoot me an email, and I'll, uh, I'll be able to get to you. Thanks. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Happy coding and happy uh, construction, and I'll catch you next time.